So guys, we're back with another video and today we'll be talking about Mr. Danny Ainge. So as you all know, Danny Ainge was the mastermind of the whole Celtics rebuild. He basically made the Celtics to what they are. He got them Dylan Brown, he got them Jason Tatum, and Jason Tatum came from the Nets basically. And he's been the mastermind of all GMs in the league that if you're gonna do a trade with him, you better be scared because this guy just messes good packages again and again. Let's rewind the clock back to 2013 when this trade happened. So it's already been 10 years since KG, Paul Pierce, and Jason Terry were traded to the Brooklyn Nets for a bunch of picks, Gerald Wallace, and that was basically it. It was basically moving a bunch of old aging players with massive contracts to the Nets, and Celtics basically got way younger, they could pay salaries for different types of players they wanted, and they could build a different core if they want to just keep the same core. And at the time, people were thinking, Oh, Brooklyn is the next big thing. They just got KG, Paul Pierce, and Jason Terry. At the time, this was a big swing. But now, thinking back on it, this is one of the worst trades, but one of the best trades ever in NBA history for Celtics, as they got... Great young talent from uh, Jason Tatum, who's now an MVP candidate, who should be a Nets player from this trade, which in itself makes this trade. <laughs> so now we fast forward to 2023, and we're looking at the Rudy Gobert trade. Now this trade was orchestrated by Danny Ainge. And the trade was basically the Jazz receiving a whole bunch of talent and picks for just Rudy Gobert. Now they got four picks, first rounders, a pick swap, and Walker Kessler as well, just as an add-on, you know. But now, as they look back on this trade, they were able to move Patrick Beverly for a pick. They are able to move Beasley and Vanderbilt for a pick. And right now, as constructed, they have six picks from this trade, first round picks. A pick swap and Walker Kessler. Now, to think about how big that haul is, Walker Kessler is already a rising star, and I think he has a potential to be another defensive beast like Gobert, but he's extremely young. He's a raw talent at the moment. <laughs> So yeah, this team got finesse. The Timberwolves, I don't know what they were doing. They didn't need another center. What they needed was a good guard to replace Dino. But they decided, you know what, let's go get Rudy Gobert. Because at the time, there was really no other superstar or star on the market. And they thought Rudy Gobert would change everything on the defensive end. But as you can see, the team is not even playing that well right now. And the only hope they have is Edwards turning into a superstar because if he doesn't well all those picks are now owned by the Utah so that's not all at the same time they had to trade my guy Donovan Mitchell now Donovan Mitchell obviously this trade is a good trade for them as well because he fits he's an all-star starter he's playing super well right now but they still got a good package they got Colin Sexton, Lori Martinen, three first round picks and two pick swaps now Thinking about it, these first round picks won't equate too much because that Cavs team has so much talent on it at the moment and they're all young, but maybe they will turn into something for different trades. And they did get Laurie Martin. Now, Laurie Martin himself is a player who should be worth a couple first round wins because he's an all star this year. He's been carrying the Utah Jazz and they have not been as mediocre as they should be because of Laurie Martin. And they got context. Colin Sexton is a solid player, just came off injury, and he has a lot to prove. So, I believe the best GM in the league is Daniel. He is the mastermind of manipulating trades from teams. He finesses and finesses. That's all he knows how to do. So, that's basically it for me. If you want to see more videos like this in the future, just like and sub to the channel. And let me know down below what you think about Daniel. And yeah, I hope you have a great day, and thanks for watching.